Hi guys! Trick or treating is looking a little different this year, but there is no way we were canceling Halloween. I'm Captain America, walking same wall! So we got super crafty, and today I'm going to show you some really fun and creative ways to help your kids trick or treat from a distance. Thank you! Specifically, six feet. <laughs> First up is this spooky skeleton pulley. <laughs> Here's what you'll need to get started. Two pulleys, rope, PVC pipe or scrap wood, zip ties, and someone spooky to deliver the candy. We're gonna start with a piece of scrap wood and use a zip tie to attach our first pulley. I love these large clothesline pulleys, but any type will work. Now, if you have a front porch, you can attach your pulley directly to a post. Next, we're going to attach our second pulley the same way to a piece of PVC pipe. Now we're ready to put everything together. This may vary depending on your house, but we're going to place our first pulley over our gate, and then our second one I'm actually inserting in an umbrella stand. Next, we're going to thread the cord through both pulleys. So we get to put the skeleton on now? In just a minute. Okay, we're gonna thread this last one through, and then we're gonna attach our guy. What do you think we should put on there? A skeleton that can talk. Okay. And scare away two adults. <laughs> or maybe we could even put the Grinch on there. <laughs> <laughs> Who would like that? My brother, Calvin. <laughs> we got a fully functioning pulley. Good job. Now it's time. Yeah, now we gotta put our skeleton on. I got him. Tie a double knot to make sure he's super secure. <laughs> super creepy. And now for the moment of truth, let's give this contraption a spin. Trick or treat! Whoa! <laughs> That's crazy, kind of. I think the kids are actually more excited to play with this than they are to go trick or treating. Oh my gosh, this is so cool! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You can attach anything to the pulley, but I have to say the lights and the sound effects really took it up a notch. Next up is this oversized creepy candy shoot. Trick or treat! <laughs> Thank you! Here's what you'll need. At least a six foot rain gutter, PVC pipe, connectors, a pipe cutter, super glue, and decorations. Take your T connector and insert a one inch length of PVC pipe into each end. Then attach an elbow connector on each side. And then your two six inch pieces. Now attach this to the taller pole using a large connector and your first post is done. You can also use a T-ball stand for this or place it directly in the grass with a stake. And repeat the same process for the shorter end. Next we're gonna super glue a short piece of pipe to one end of the gutter so that it won't slip. Put your slide in place, and now it's time to decorate. I'm gonna attach these cauldrons to hold the candy, and then I have this super creepy mask we're gonna try to turn into a witch. Be creative, you could really make anything work. To the tree! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! Chuck a tree! More! <laughs> <laughs> More! This turned out to be so much easier than I thought. Good. <laughs> and it's a fun, safe way to deliver candy to your little trick-or-treaters. Thank you. You're welcome. These were such a hit, I think we're going to be using them again next year. Although, let's hope they're not necessary. More! And if all else fails, go with a physical barrier. <laughs> no one's getting within six feet of my kid. <laughs> it's in my bubble. Do I look like a strawberry? Yes. All right, guys, I hope you and your family have a safe and socially distant Halloween, and we'll see you soon. Bye, Bye guys.